critical components of faith. And I know why I want to take that topic this morning. Because of, look, if we live in Nigeria, if you don't walk by faith, you will die of heart attack. So I want to repeat again. If you live in Nigeria without faith in your heart, you will die of heart attack. You will be hopeless. So I want to encourage you. Glory be to God forevermore. So I just tell you three critical components of walking by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2. Let's quickly start. I'll rush through. I, I'm doing it for 30 minutes. So I'll just mention, pam, pam, pam. They are not the things you don't know. I'm just putting it together for you. He says, I will stand on my watch to, I set myself on the rampart. I want to see what he will say to me. And I will answer when I'm corrected. Okay? And what I will answer when I'm corrected. The Lord answered and said, write the vision and make it plain on tablets. That in a wrong, you will read it or will read it. Verse 3. For the vision is here for an appointed time. Though it, oh, but at the end, okay, thank you for removing that side. Yeah. But at the end, it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. It will not tarry. May everything you are believing God for surely come to pass Amen. according to the word of the living God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number, no, but, uh, then go on, go on, go on, verse 4, verse 4, verse 4. Behold the proud. So it's identifying a particular set of people now. Behold the proud. You say what? His soul is not upright in him. Glory be to God forevermore. He now said there's another set of people contrary to the proud. He now mentioned what? The just. But the just shall live by faith. That means pride and being righteous, they are not compatible. Is somebody hearing me right now? You know, being the word proud, there doesn't necessarily mean a man who is working like this. Are you hearing me? It's it actually referring to a man who has everything figured out. That's what he's referring to there. It's not an arrogant man who talks, oh, what can you do to me? That's not what he's talking about there. He's talking about the positioning of his soul. Not a physical posture. A man who in his mind is intelligent, is bright, he has everything figured out. Bible said that kind of soul is not an upright soul. Because that kind of soul does not depend on God. He said, but contrary to that kind of soul, that kind of person right now is what is called the just. Who also, who does what? Who lives by what? By faith. I may not have it all figured out. This may not be going so well, but I trust God. That's another set of people. I don't want to use anybody to demonstrate here the proud. It's not a good way. It's not a good person. You know, when something happens, the proud does not pray. They don't pray. I'll call the Minister of Finance and Federal Republic. I'll call the Minister of Local Government and Utilities. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. If I pull from domiciliary account, then I join it to, yeah, partners from Australia. Then, well, fine. If I liquidate this asset, there's a we should be balancing them. In the next two years, we should be having returns. Everything figured out. The proud. Is that not your plan? Do you know what everyone's planning? Do you know what angels are doing? Do you know what will happen in two years? You that, you that cannot predict this evening. Behold the proud. His soul is not upright. So it's not about the fiscal picture. A proud could be very humbly. Hey, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. But your heart is different. Yeah. 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 Is somebody hearing me this morning? Yeah. He said, but contrary to that person, is the person called the just. 
who lives by faith. God, this is what we plan, but we still submit it to you. You will still help us. For you are our help. And I pray for every one of you in Jesus' name. In this critical time we live, may the Lord Almighty be your help. In the name of Jesus, may the Almighty God be your help. May the Almighty God be your help. As a church in Epignosy Christian Center, may the Almighty God be our help. In the name of Jesus, for me, for you and your family, may the Almighty God be your help. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our eyes are totally off our back account right now. Our eyes are totally off everything we have planned. Our eyes are totally on him right now. For the just shall live by faith. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. So number one critical component of faith. Number one critical component of faith. Is the direction of your sight. That's number one critical component. Proper direction of sight. That is number one critical of faith. So a man cannot claim to be in faith. If I have faith in you, I'm looking to you, look up to you. Bible said, like the servant look up to their master, and like the handmaid look to their mistress. So our eyes shall look unto thee. Anybody you look, you have faith in, you will look to. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 3. Let me quickly show you. Acts chapter 3. So right now, we are taking our eyes off. The economy, the, we are going to look on him. Because if you look down, things will happen. We will not, in fact, you will wonder what is going on with you. Glory be to God. Acts chapter 3. Are you there? I will be very fast this morning. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bible says, now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer. The night hour. Okay, that's about 3 p.m. Okay, it's not 9 o'clock. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> when Bible says the night hour, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and they started, if you start counting from 6 a.m., the night hour will be 3 p.m. It says nice first service, nine o'clock in the morning. No, now the Jews Jews don't count twenty four hours. Jews count twelve hours, six to six. So that's how they do it. So night hour will be three p.m. So three uh, the, like when they, 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 they in chapter two when they said uh, how can you say we are drunk? This is your third hour of the day. It's not three a.m. That's nine a.m. in the morning. Uh. <laughs> Let's go, Jerry. <laughs> And I wanted to rush this morning. All of you are just, yeah, look. <laughs> and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask him from those who enter the temple. Okay? Let's learn. Let's learn. Verse 3. And seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked what? For arms. Verse, verse 4. And fixing what? His eyes on him. With John and Peter say what? Look at us. Look, the man does not know Jesus. But we represent Jesus. You are going to have a miracle for this, your lame feet. Look at us. Wow. Fix your face on us. Wow. The first beginning, because later, eh, when those apostles were queried, how they did that miracle, they said the name of Jesus, they said faith in the name of Jesus has made this man old. But if you read that place, the man did not know Jesus now. So they told them, why, why, how did this happen? Say what? Look at us. We carry Jesus. Glory be to God forever. So I am asking you, number one critical component of this critical of faith is your direction, the direction of your eyes. Proper fixture. Glory be to God forever more. Glory be to God forever more. Tell your neighbor from now, we will not look at anything around us. We are fixing our eyes on him. Hallelujah. 
The other day I had an interview with somebody who was asking me. He said, Pastor T, people say when somebody is 25 years old or 30 years old, they should marry. When somebody gets a job and has a house and has a car, that's when they ought to marry. I said, when do you think it's time for you to marry? Some people have all these things, they are not married. When are they supposed to marry? I said, you should marry at the point of faith. Because if you marry when your faith is not there to marry, you will put each other under pressure. You'll be looking to your husband to provide. You'll be looking to your wife to provide. You'll be looking to your, at your parents to provide. Look to him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Go to the book of Jonah chapter 2. I read from verse 7. Jonah chapter 2. Jonah chapter 2. From verse 7. Look at what he says here. Hey, this, this is like, this is describing like, describing like GDL. Because when I was reading that place, hmm? <laughs> well, it's like we're inside the, inside the belly of a fish. <laughs> I'm not joking. He said, where my soul fainted within me. Look at what did he, what did he do? I remember the Lord and my prayer went to you into what your holy temple. At this time, let your eyes be on him. Look at the next line. Next, verse 8. Verse 8. Verse 8. Well, those who what? Who regard what? Worthless idols forsake their own what? Mercy. If you're always looking around, you know, you know what Bible calls worthless idols? Can I, can I help somebody here this morning? I have PhD in metallurgy. Worthless idol. I know the minister <laughs> of humanitarian resources. Sorry. <laughs> worthless idol. Tinubu is my cousin. Yeah. Worthless idol. I have this set, I have that set up. Worthless idol. Those who the God will, they will want, they forsake their word. Mercy. Who is your mercy? God. So we are redirecting every attention on him this morning. Say amen to that. Yeah. Verse 9. Verse 9, as I leave this point, verse 9. But what? I will sacrifice to you with what? With the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I vow. Salvation is the Lord. Lord. Glory be to God forevermore. Others will be doing what they are doing, but me for me, oh, I will sacrifice to you. My eyes will be on you. Glory be to God forevermore. I'm encouraging you. Psalm 35. So I wanted to leave this one. It's not leaving. Psalm 35. No, no, Psalm 34, sorry. Psalm 34. Let me read verse 5 to you. We, we, we all read it all the time. Oh, we read from verse 4. Go, who's there? Psalm 4. Look at what the Bible says. They did what? No, no. I, okay, I saw the Lord and he heard me. And he delivered me for, from all my. May the Lord deliver every one of us. That is how the humble lives. Taste everybody's. We pay their permutation. We will seek the Lord. We will seek the Lord and he will deliver us from all our fears. Look at the next line, verse 5. They look what to him and they were what? Radiant. And their faces were not what? Ash. I pray for every one of you. This economy will not put you to shame. The Nigerian factor will not put you to shame. I am making this prayer from the bottom of my heart. I am trusting God with every one of you. That in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter which way the dice falls, the Lord will preserve your lot. The Lord will keep you safe and sound in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we vow to look unto you. Our eyes are directed at you this morning. Not unto man. We look unto you totally, completely. Father, make our eyes radiant. Make our eyes buoyant. Make our faces reflect joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bible says they look unto him. They looked unto him. They were ready and their faces were not ashamed. Is that what the Bible says? The Bible says those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. That's the first I want you to do. My wedding is coming. I have uh, 5,000 naira. Uh, the budget is 5 million. Look unto him. I remember a man of God that was, got married. He didn't know at that time that you could marry, you could be doing the work of God and be working. He said, he thought full time is full time. His family ran into serious problem. They ejected them from their house. They went back to go and stay, be safe with the, the mother-in-law. When the baby was born, they were going home. 
before it finished. With new baby. He drove it to the petrol station. He decided to he feed the tank. You know, this US can feed your tank and go and pay inside. He feed the tank and went inside. No cupboard, nothing. The man, <laughs> he met a friend there. He said, hey, Andrew's been a long time. How are you? This way I go. He said, I just have my new baby. I'm going home. And I said, my contribution is that I will feed your car. <laughs> you know, I am pretty just honest. <laughs> At every critical point in life, may God show up for you. This is what it means. So that, let me tell you, I'm going somewhere with this message. I'm, I can't let, ah, my God. Because there are four critical points I want to tell you. I've told you only one. It's okay. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. Let me beg you. Let me, see, let me demonstrate what is going on here. Past, this pastor DJ there, right? If I'm going to DJ, I'm not supposed to go. I'm not supposed to be going like this. I'll be looking at him. The Bible says that's not how believers walk. Oh. Mm. Believers don't walk like that, too. Because we walk by, by faith and not by sight. If you are looking at DJ and go towards DJ, that is walking by sight. Mm. Because that is where I'm going. Mm. But when you are walking by faith, the faith, the just doesn't work like that. This is how the just works. Mm. Wow. We look unto him. Hallelujah. Because you may think DJ is the answer. God may say, this is your answer. So as you are going with your eyes fixed on him, when you get there, I will say, stop. But if you face, fix, 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 God, fix, fix, I mean, focus on that one, you will pass your answer. That is why those who focus on worthless idols, they forsake their mercy. They will bypass it. I'm not saying walk on the street with your eyes closed. I'm talking about the posture of your soul. Hallelujah. Is that what the Bible says? Book of Hebrews, chapter 12. Looking unto Jesus, what? The author and the finisher of our faith. That means focus on the Lord is the perfection of your faith. Oh, this one, I did it. Hey, hey. The perfection of faith is focus on the Lord. I don't want anybody here for your heart. I don't want your heart to fail. I don't want you to be afraid. Please don't be afraid. Let Naira say what Naira wants to say. Let prices say what prices want to say. We have a feeding place that nobody knows. We have a hiding place that nobody knows. We have a God who is a provider. We have a father who will never forsake us. We have a God who takes off his care of his people. We have a shepherd who will never forsake his own sheep. Glory be to God forevermore. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Then look unto him. It's a continuous looking. Not that they looked. They look. Glory be to God forevermore. So that is the first thing, critical part, part of it. He said, why are you begging? Look on us. Glory be to God forever, man. Yeah. So I am begging you. Every one of you, I'm begging you this morning. Go and rework your plans. Go and rework your plan and work it around God. Because that's something you want to do. You say, ah, based on the present price, let me abandon this, let me do this one. Eh, go and rework it around God. Go and walk it around God. And you will see the hand of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the mercy of God follow you. May the grace of God follow you. May the help of God follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God forevermore. That's the first critical component of faith. Because things are so, things are so, I don't know, I want to, I never, I never spoke Yoruba. I, I, because I don't understand the English word. Things are so dabaru. I mean, how do you <laughs> how do you put it in English? This are sc scatter is a, a no, scatter is an understatement. Uh, you no, know, it's not Jaga Jaga. Jaga Jaga is a South South language. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Things are so shattered. Scatter, you can put it together. 
We need God in the equation. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Let me go to number two quickly. Hallelujah. Number two has been revealed to us in where we read in Jonah chapter two. Number two has been, go back. He said, when my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Verse 8, those who regard what worthless idols forsake their own mercy. Verse 9, but I will sacrifice to the Lord what? With the voice of what? Thanks. Critical comp- number two critical component of faith is thanksgiving. This is what a lot of people think it is easy. How do you thank God when your purse has just been stolen? A brother and I were doing a project and we put finishing touches to the budget on like on Thursday. Then only for them to call me back yesterday and said, Pastor T, sorry, you, cement is no longer 5,000 naira. It's now 7,000 naira. In one day. Have you DJ? 7,000 naira. From, you know, we used to buy cement, eh? <laughs> see, see my wife. My wife said, I thought it was three five. Because I don't because <laughs> see this girl. Ever will be you. Look at this girl. Because d- a man doesn't come home and tell his wife Wahala. A man doesn't come, ha! Ah, he was so happy to me today. Hey. Mm, a man doesn't talk like that. Just be it like a man. You be it like a man. Because you must wear the capacity of your wife before you talk. A lot of just go home and pour everything. The day you will now multiply the unbelief by 10. So we are finished. <laughs> three, five. Three, five was about five years ago before COVID. Ah, look at this guy. <laughs> Let's go on, Jerry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, when you are given that information, what do you do? Thank you, my sister. You may think that Thanksgiving is easy. Until you are served a doctor's report. Until you are served quit notice. Until you are served end of job. Until you check your balance and it says 3,500. And the bill is 3.5 million. Thanksgiving is easy with music. But when you are alone, in the night. And you know something about devil, it doesn't let go. Yeah. When you sleep, it will surround your bed with demons. As you are waking up, they start talking to you. How far? That one will say you remember. <laughs> they will show you the picture of your load by the roadside. <laughs> it will point to you, it will paint a vivid picture of the disgrace. Are you hearing me? That is where times become what? Critical. I will, I'm still in the belly of the fish, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. Romans chapter 4, our last scripture for the day. I'll conclude the remaining two next week. It's a critical component. And I want you to do it this week. Oh. I want you to do this week. As we leave, are you hearing me? Some of you need to go back home. Say, Father, I've had my own plans. But Lord, what are you saying? This is my budget. I'm not going to manipulate. God, help me. Write this down. Never forget. Your trial is your training. Never forget it in life. Some of you are willing to go to Bible school. Bible school will polish your English. It will polish your theology. We will not get get you ready for life. Your trial is your training. The training you need for life are the trial you are going through. Bible, Bible school is theory. I 
Are you hearing me? Bible school is theory. The one will prepare you for life. Are you hearing me? Are your trials? The real training for life are the trials of life. It's easy to, how do you know, how can you, how do you know how to manage one million when you have not managed 10,000 naira? People have not shown you pepper. You now become MD. MD. When people have not shown you pepper, you are now MD. There's no way you know misbehave. They will tear you apart. You that when, it's, when you are drinking cocoa, you know what? Kakamu. With kose under the tree. The, and you hear people talk. You are already picking the, how men think. When you are inside the bus and you see people, how people trample on themselves, you are already picking how people behave. When you go to dining hall and food that's supposed to serve three, they used to serve ten, and you have to survive, you are already preparing for life. When you, when you get newly get employed and people are supposed to protect you, they, they, they betray you, you are training for life. So those are the critical things that train you, a man that you invested money in. You thought you were going to build a life together. All of a sudden, you just see, see his wedding card. And your heart is broken. It's your trial is your training for life. Because there is no, there's nothing anybody will tell you that that man is not still there. You won't believe. Can I look at the way they're looking at me now? You will not believe. Your trial is your critical training for life. Somebody, somebody always wonder at me, eh, Pastor T, this person did this, this person did this, why are you not doing this? Me. I told our leaders the other day, me. You don't know me. Somebody did something. Me, I will now go and make this person. So, you did this? I don't. You know, some of you, why you get angry so much and everything because people have not done things to you. If you see me get angry with somebody, it's not because of me. If I say how the thing will end for you, I will say this will, this will not favor your government. So my fight is not for me. My fight, if you offend me, believe me, I will not mention it. Have I ever mentioned anybody and say, look at what you did to me? Never. I'll be laughing at you. What have you seen? What have you seen? Your trial is your training. Your trial is your training. I want somebody to challenge me in this church. That I met you, I said you did this to me. Never. But if I see the way you are going, I said, this thing will not favor your government too. Like a shepherd will direct the sheep. Not because the shepherd was offended. Glory be to God forevermore. May God build your capacity. Can I tell you something? Eh? You cannot read to the point where your capacity is built. When you read, what you do is you know. It doesn't mean your capacity is built. Because when that thing happens, you will run foul of what you read. You will remember that you read it. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Let's round up today. Let's round up today. So nothing is wasted. We being here at this time is not wasted. A new season is coming. A new season is coming. Amen. Is somebody hearing me? A new season is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans chapter 4, as we round up. I read from verse 16. And we round up on that. So it's not when we talk about Thanksgiving. When those things happen, it's part of your training. Be thanking God for it. Be praising God. But I'm trusting God with every one of you that in the name of Jesus Christ, may your trials not be more than your capacity. Amen. It will never be more than what you can bear. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will preserve your children. Amen. The Lord will preserve your spouses. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not cry about your children. Amen. You will not cry about your spouses. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
I know I'm praying the prayer I'm praying, no. All of you may look at me that this man is, look, doesn't look coordinated. Sometimes when I'm praying, eh, I am not praying based, it's not coordinated prayer. I am praying on based on what I'm seeing inside. Oh. Because there are two kinds of losses in life. Repla- replaceable losses and irreplaceable losses. So when I began to pray right now, when, when I was praying that prayer, for you, I just pray right now, I am praying concerning irreplaceable losses. That's why I pray that prayer. Children cannot be replaced too. Is somebody hearing me right now? Spouses cannot be replaced. Others cannot be replaced. So that's how I'm praying for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not suffer any loss in that area. The Lord will keep your children. The Lord will keep your spouse. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are not going to cry along that line. In the name of Jesus can go. Cars will come. Furniture can go. Furniture will come. Jobs can go. Jobs will come. Contrast can go. Contrast will come. But you will never suffer irreplaceable loss. For the Lord will preserve Christ careers of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those are the things. I, that, that's what I saw that I was praying about too. Glory be to God forever, man. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 4, as I round up this morning. He said, Therefore, it is of faith that it might, be, it might be according to grace, so that the front might be sure to all the seed. The day I will explain this place, I'm coming to, and I will explain it to you one day. He said, Therefore, he said, All the promise of God, it happens to people according to faith. You no, know, he said, Which is by grace, according to grace. Grace makes promises, faith takes it. Because grace is not forced to make promise. He makes it because he loves you. But you have to receive it by faith. He now said, this, all these promises, the, the condition for achieving them is faith. So that by be sure to all the seed. Meaning that your educational position does not matter. Your background does not matter. All that God is looking for is faith. So anybody can have faith. And since all, everybody can have faith, that means the promise is sure to all. You understand the word say right now. Now, so that, so not only to those who have the law, but to everybody who have the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Verse 17. Go on. Verse 17. As it is written, I will have, I have made you what? A father of many nations. In the presence of him who we believe, even God, who gives life to the dead and called those who do not exist as though they did. Go on. Who contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became what? The father of many nations, according to what was spoken, so shall your descendant be. Verse 19. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Verse 20. He did not waver at the promise of God, what? Through unbelief, but was strengthened, what? In faith. Give you what? Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, be strengthened, be strengthened. in faith. By giving, By giving glory, glory to, God. to God. That's the number two critical component of faith. The promise may look impossible. The promise may look too far-fetched. But can you take hold of that promise by thanking God? Hallelujah. It's like my pastor here, friend, my uh, friend pastor here telling me, Pastor T, don't worry. I build you a mansion. And, I, and he allows me to say, thank you. He must perform more. Yes. <laughs> you know what, what thank you means? It means I receive it. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. We have not seen it yet, you are thanking him. We have committed him to it. Hallelujah. Not being weak in faith. Strengthen the faith, giving what? Glory to God. Because he was fully persuaded. Verse, tw- verse 21. Verse 21. Verse 21. And being fully what? Convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to do. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. That is what Thanksgiving does. That is the battle critic. And let it be your lifestyle. You know, please borrow me your chair. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Paul. Don't worry, Paul. I just want to sit down briefly. Don't worry. Thank you. you know. This is how it works. 
Let me give you this demonstration. Yeah, can I have t- maybe two demons? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, choir, choir, just come. You are two, two, two people from the choir, okay. All three of you, just come. Yeah, come, come. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you are not demons, you are Christians. Or something like that. Okay, come. Uh, okay, come. Okay, just surround me. Uh, just like that. Oh, hey, like that. Anywhere you are in the world, you may not see, we don't see electricity, right? We don't see waves. We don't see many things, but they exist. Demons exist. Angels exist. They don't operate in our physical eyes, but they are there. Glory be to God forevermore. And then, as you are, as you are sitting, JJ, this is a demon, or I call him a demon of, uh, of, 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 of death. Uh, and he comes, to, he comes to meet you. And he says, what as if you are traveling right now, you die? Eh? That's, you hear that voice, right? In your spirit. What if you die? What happens to your wife and children? You know, this is what unbelief will do. <laughs> mm. <laughs> eh? Everybody, people, they die every day now. What is going to happen? You have agreed with him now. You know what you are going to do? Father, I thank you. Because we love life, you satisfy me. I show you my salvation. You will turn. Because Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. Those are arrows. When Bible talks about arrows being shot, the thoughts are arrows. You never see physical arrows. Those thoughts, those suggestions that can get a man depressed, those are the arrows. You reply with thanksgiving. It's called the shield of faith. We, we are which you shall quench every fiery dart of the wicked. You carry the sheep as he throws it at you. Are you hearing me? Reply with thanksgiving based on the scriptures. Father, I thank you because with long life you satisfy me. He that keeps his strength neither sleeps nor slumbers. I give you praise, my king. I thank you, my father. I will not labor another man eats, I will not plant another man harvest. I will not build another man do it there. Will long life satisfy me? I give you praise. People are wondering why are you always thanking God because you are meditating on the scriptures and based on the faith that's coming down, you are giving praise to God. Glory be to God forever. Yeah. This is the demon of economy. Uh-huh. Yeah, fair price is rising. Thank you. He's, he's, he's alive to his wild work. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> will you be able to ever fear your car? And you lift up your hand, and everything is just rising. Uh, these are necessities, these are needs. But Father, I thank you. Because you supply my needs. I cut your riches in glory. The, the lion, they do suffer hunger. And young lion, they do lack food. But those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. For the Lord God is a son and a she. He gives grace. He gives glory. No good thing will he with hope for them that walk. I give you praise, my father. And you are th- you allow those to be flowing with thanksgiving. People are wondering, why are you always thanking God? Because we are not looking at what you are looking at. We are fully persuaded that he will do what he said he will do. That's why we are thanking him more. We trust his power. We trust his ability. We trust his faithfulness. Glory be to God forever. Man. Hallelujah. He said, don't you think, look at this one, sick. This one you say we die of sickness, you reply him. Glory be to God forever. Man. The same spirit. I raised Christ from the, the dead. He said, me. The same one that raised Lazarus, that's already the king, he said, me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for giving life, strength, vitality to my body. And you are thanking God, and you are praising Him, and you are worshiping Him. Jesus applied the same principle throughout His ministry. Throughout His ministry. That's why he got to Lazarus' place. He said, Father, I thank you because you have heard me. Because by, time you, by, see, by this time he's smelling. You could perceive the smell. He, yet he thanked God. 
five loaves to feed 5,000 that cannot even five feed a kid, turn into Thanksgiving. That's where Thanksgiving becomes critical. I profess about somebody here today. Your next project will be done. Amen. Your next project will be done. Amen. Your next project will be done. Amen. It's not by your capacity. It's not by your ability. By the ability of the almighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I commend every one of you to God. And to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you up. The Lord has me to tell somebody this morning. Go in this your strength. Go therefore in this your might. Go in this your might. And see what God will do in your life. Father, we give you praise. We honor you, Lord. Thank you for a beautiful month ahead of us. Let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah.